one of the things that you need to do as a student sometimes, you're asked to, to, to determine if lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other, or neither for that matter. And you've already learned about to how to tell if lines are parallel or perpendicular. So now it's just a matter of actually looking at the lines and determining it. One of the things that we can do now is compare the slopes. <clears throat> when you look at the slopes, if the lines are parallel if the slopes are equal. The lines are perpendicular if they are negative reciprocals of each other. Didn't mean for that to be a dash, I meant for that to be a negative sign. And they are neither if it's all of the rest. So anyway, <clears throat> I've got a couple different pairs of lines up here. Uh, for the first pair, I've got 3x plus 5y equals 7. And I've got 2x minus 6y equals 12. So if we sit there and look at those, can you see the slope? And the answer is no. You cannot see the slope. So <clears throat> when you look at the slope, how, do you, how would you find that? You need to put, take the lines and put them in slope-intercept form. Once the lines are in slope-intercept form, you can look at the slopes. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, what would you do first? I would go minus 3x to both sides. Move the x over to the other side. That gives me 5y equals negative 3x plus 7. And then you divide both sides by 5. The number I'm interested in is in front of the x, so it would be negative 3 fifths. Let's look at this one right here now. Minus 2x, minus 2x, negative 6y equals negative 2x plus 12. Divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6. Are those slopes equal? Not even close. Negative divided by a negative is a positive, isn't it? So for my slopes here, I've got negative 3 fifths. And I see 2 sixths, that will turn into 1 third. They're not the same. Are they negative reciprocals of each other? Well, if you take this and flip it, you'd get 3 over 1, and you'd put a negative sign in front of it. In the case of this first one, it is neither. They're neither parallel or perpendicular. Let's look at the second one. Again, we're going to put this one into slope-intercept form. Minus 5x to both sides. 2y equals negative 5x plus 14, divide both sides by 2. Here, y equals negative 5 halves x plus 7. So my slope here is negative 5 halves. This one, oh, thank goodness, it's already in slope-intercept form, isn't it? 2 fifths. Are these the same? The answer is no. Are these negative reciprocals of each other? If I take this one and flip it and make it negative, they would both be negative 5 halves, wouldn't they? Or if I took this one and flipped it and changed its sign to positive, they would both be positive 2 fifths. So these two lines here are perpendicular. So we've got parallel, we have a neither here and we have a perpendicular here. Now, I could do an example with parallel, but the process is the same. Get it to where you have the slopes, make a comparison. If the slopes are identical, the two lines are parallel. So there you have it, a couple of examples. It's really just some algebraic manipulation and realizing that once you get it in this form, y equals mx plus b, there you go. Your slope is in front of the x. Anyway, take your time with these. Make sure you don't make any arithmetic mistakes or algebra mistakes when you're solving your equations. It should fall right apart for you. Good luck.